Time with your quest. There's a lot more quest for his business in just a moment. Shelley Palmer will be with me as Facebook mulls banning targeted political ads. I'm afraid Shelley and I agree, but you'll find out what we agree on in a moment. Facebook is considering tweaking its controversial political ad policy and possibly restricting micro-targeting. Now, as it stands at the moment, politicians can target potential voters by race, gender, income and other personal information. Reports suggest that Google, which has so far stayed silent on the political ad controversy, is mulling changes. The Palmer Group CEO, Shirley Palmer, is here. Good to see you, Hello, as Richard. always. How are you? So, what's wrong with the current position? Well, actually, sources very close to those conversations at Facebook have confided in me that this report may have overstated what they're thinking about. They are considering all possibilities and taking all kinds of feedback, but ultimately, there's no plans whatsoever to change their current policy, which is to let politicians speak for themselves. But others have different policies, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Twitter announced that they're not going to take political advertising. So that's a no. Season. So that's just saying we're not doing any of it. And it's a good move if you're those guys. Uh, Google is looking at the policies also. This is a very complex and incredibly divisive issue. Everyone seems to have a very strong opinion about what is the truth and what is not the truth and what should be said and what shouldn't be said. And so Facebook's policy is very simple. If you are the politician, you get to speak. Now, we have a podcast, think about this, with Shelley Palmer and Ross Martin, and we had Carolyn Everson, their VP of Global Marketing Solutions, on our podcast this week, and she basically outlined those policies in a pretty significant way, in an honest way. We, we tested her, said, why don't you just give up on political advertising altogether? Twitter did, and her feeling was politicians in small markets around the globe need the opportunity to speak their mind, and they need the platform Facebook. So I mean, I mean, I the, find the whole good thing, outweighs the bad. I find the whole thing bizarre in the sense that we've always known that politicians either exaggerate, fabricate or lie to a certain extent. So why is everybody suddenly getting their knickers in a twist? We're not talking here about the same cases of Russian hacking and fake no, news no, and that sort of thing, anyway. are we? No, and realistically, look, when the Biden campaign said to Facebook, look, this is an ad Trump wrote, uh, put out there, and this ad contains falsehoods, Facebook's question was, and I think rightly so, Okay, that's what you say, but we don't have proof. So if you have a problem with it, take it to the public and the public will decide. And I think that's pretty much the right policy. I don't want, like, the only thing I can think of that's worse than um, Facebook being the arbiter of the truth, or let's say nobody being the arbiter of the truth, is Facebook being the arbiter of the truth. Or worse, Mark Zuckerberg being the arbiter of truth for mankind. I'm sorry, that doesn't make sense to me. Let the public see what the politicians say and judge. So then from your in-depth understanding of this, why do the public? Why has this arisen? Nobody's ever, I mean, suggested, I mean, maybe they do now, the New York Times does fact check adverts and things well, like that. Well, really, this really is, I think it's conflated. Fact checking does happen on every platform, the New York Times, Facebook, everywhere else. This is specifically political advertising, right. and most specically, advertising by the candidates. Right, but the Not from the PACs, right. not the other right. but, supporting But what I'm saying is, if a, if a car company wished to advertise on Facebook. The, Facebook would not be going around face uh, fact-checking the EPA regulations and whether or not you That's, could do all that. So, of... so no, if, first of all, there are standards and practices for advertising right. on Facebook, and they do check, and they do not allow ads that claim falsehoods. Otherwise, you and I would go on right now, and we'd have the Richard and Shelley snake oil sales, right? We would sell Get Rich Quick, and we'd sell Lose Weight Quick. I could certainly use that. And if they weren't fact-checking, we'd be making a fortune. They do fact-check. You can't do that. All they're saying is that when when a politician places an ad and they are speaking for themselves and I'm so-and-so politician, I, I, you know, support mm -hmm. this or I endorse this or I've approved this message, that it's approved and now you should take it out, uh, up with the politician. Remind me where we can enjoy. Oh, this. Oh, think about this with Shelley Palmer and Ross Martin. A podcast What's we're going to. Oh, it's called Think About This. Yes. With Shelley Palmer and Ross Martin, uh, where you will be a guest very soon, is available everywhere that you can get podcasts. Apple Podcasts, of course, thinkaboutthis.fm. It's available on Stitcher, Spotify, which is a great place to listen to podcasts. Wherever you like podcasts, Richard, you can find Think About This with Shelley Palmer and Ross Martin. We yeah. were just about to say, by the way, what do you think is a legitimate amount? 
to pay what's the average for all your streaming services on television on everything all together a legitimate amount if I like my total amount that I so want to pay yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take uh, I'll take out Spotify because it's well that's audio it's that's audio it. so just for my video streaming all so in the, yeah, yeah yeah what would you I think if you could get it away for 50 to 60 dollars a month plus your broadband for 30 to 75 dollars a month you would have a good package that's never going to happen start looking at the 200 dollar range that's where we're all going to be Warner Media Disney Plus Apple you put everybody together this is going to and by the way you're not going to know where to find anything and how many members of the family are using your password oh i can't possibly say just me because i'm such an honest guy but everybody else they all share passwords everybody good to see you good to see you Richard.